Yeah, so um, what I've seen in my experience here, um, we have done significant R&D. Um, and in that research and development, we have expanded um, our power generation where we originally started at 50 kilowatts, and that was our machine, a 50 kilowatt um, power generation to um, make it smaller down to 35 and make it larger up to 110. Mm. And we will continue to grow that um, over time. So that those are priorities. Um, so I've seen that um, growth in the company since I've been here. From a target market standpoint, um, we have focused less on um, our local area um, in the United States. Um, and more internationally focused. Um, that's been a significant change for us because when we first started, I, I think we had the um, impression that uh, clean energy or renewable energy would be of greater interest in the United States, but we found that Europe and um, Asia are much more interested um, in the renewable energy um, perspective when component. did you figure that out? When was this? Oh, this was maybe eight or nine years ago. Yeah. And, yeah. How, and what signals got you to? The lack of um, return phone calls um. in the United States. And, and you know, simple math. Um, when you break down the cost of power, um, the U.S., um, the majority of the U.S., our cost of power is extremely low. Um, so it's very hard to um, convince someone in the U.S. Um, on a higher ROI because it's the right thing to do for your planet. Mm -hmm. um, it's much easier to say from a dollars and cents standpoint, this is the right thing to do. Oh, and guess what? It's good for the planet too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, we transitioned to a greater international focus a while ago and um, we are seeing a lot more inquiries from the US um, in the past couple years mm. which is wonderful what um, do you think that is um, it is I think it's a few things um, it's not necessarily policy um, but I think people are looking more long-term at um, what is going to happen um, in the in the power industry and um, the cost of fuel and what that's going to look like as um, we see government change and policy change. Um, and I think they're getting a lot more pressure from the public um, to be um, more renewable, to be more sustainably focused. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's part of it. Mm -hmm. And also our machines are becoming, um, um, we, we're getting better at being more economical. So um, it, there's a couple points that we were able to make changes to so that um, the ROI is going up um, for all mm. our opportunities and people's interest in renewable energy is growing at the same time. Mm. So it's a win-win. Yeah, win-win-win, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. So uh, any other like important steps you've taken that you feel this was, a, this was like a deal breaker for us in either in yeah like deciding not to focus on us first but mm -hmm. globally and um we um really when we got our managing director john fox he joined our team about eight years ago we took a significant step back um and focused on fewer industries and really narrowed in on markets that we know the real opportunity is and stop uh, responding to possible opportunities that were really iffy mm -hmm. um, and that made a huge difference so now we have a very micro focused um, look at uh, from a sales standpoint what where's the opportunity what are we going to spend our time on and what are we um, we call it a tire kickers mm -hmm. where we're kicking the tires to see can this thing run on this? And it's mm -hmm. wasting everybody's time. Um, it's 
it's very easy to filter a tire kicker from a, an actual opportunity when we find out what the cost of power is in their market and what um, their heat source is. Uh, when we can find those things out, we can very easily determine if this is something we want to spend time on or if this is going to go nowhere fast. Mm. So that's, um, that's how we do it. And it's, it's really um, helped our sales team hone in on um, what's important and what we should not be focusing on.